Well guys, <clears throat> you can see it's kind of dark outside. I usually don't do uh, videos this late, but a lot of you people out there that have the uh, 3.4 uh, Chevy motors, the uh, GM motors, the uh, Impalas, Monte Carlos, uh, what is it, the Pontiac, Pontiac Montana, Chevy Venture vans. Um, well, I'll just cut down to the chase. Um, I had problems with the uh, rocker arms in this before. Uh, the one in the back, <clears throat> I think it was on the one. It was in the back, in the uh, back, the uh, back freaking, whatchamacallit, the back bank. This one, this time it's in the front. I had the uh, front right done, which was cylinder three, I want to say. Now cylinder four is giving me shit. What happens is, um, in the mornings when you start it up, when it's cold, uh, it makes like it sounds like valve tick, like noisy valves. But what it really is is the uh, threads inside the um, the threads for the uh, rocker arm bolt get stripped out because it's just junk. And what happens is those threads just slowly, slowly let go, and then that's where you, that's where you get your noise from. And I was just coming back from lunch at work today. <clears throat> It's four, I'm almost five right now, but um, earlier around like uh, fuck was it, like two, two thirty. I came back in the parking lot at work, and then it just started in again. But um, it's uh, cylinder four, which is in the front. And what I did was I bought a heli coil kit, which I'll show you tomorrow because it'll be it'll be more brighter out. Because this camera doesn't like the uh, night at all, but I'm gonna start the uh, money up for you and let you listen to it. And uh, what happened was the uh, valve let go. I don't know if it was the intake or the exhaust. I'm, I'm pretty. This one is the intake, cause uh, the the exhaust let go in the uh, in the back, which was the first time, and um, it really gave me a lot of shit. And I was about 10 miles from my house, so I had to like baby it really, really slow. Cause it kept shooting the exhaust. The exhaust valve wasn't opening up right. And what happens is when the rocker arm lets go, the uh, push rod uh, tips tacks around, so you get you get like a ticking sound. So I bought a helicoil kit for 20 bucks, I think. And my dad's uh, same guy I bought the uh, same guy I bought the bike, the uh, Suzuki off of over there, which you can actually kind of see. All right, guys. <laughs> I couldn't do a video last night because. My uh, batteries went dead in my camera, fucking thing, but I'm going to do a quick video of this uh, before I get fixed so you guys can hear it and know what it sounds like. This is the last time I wanted to do it, I couldn't get a chance to. And it's dark as a fuck, but uh, handy dandy flashlight, okay. Now this one, <coughs> this rocker arm is a... Uh, like literally right underneath the um, uh, valve cover well duh but I mean like right underneath the uh, oil cap so put this on for a second oh, nice. oh. Okay. Now, most likely can't see in there but uh, if I can get it at the right angle you can see the uh, spring right there right above that spring and there's no way to be holding the uh, light down there so you can see me there see a little butt on my finger in there you hear it tipping the wind that tapping there <coughs> That would be a right to clean my finger. That tapping you just heard is the uh, rocker arm. It's uh, the um, threads let loose on the uh, for the bolt that holds the rocker arm down. So, so that I was checking. I uh, started up last night with the uh, cap off, and rocker arm isn't even working at all. So that's uh, the exhaust valve. The exhaust valve isn't even working at all. So. That's that. Um, here, I'm gonna start it up for you. Get the oil cap back on. Okay. Okay. So, hand the flashlight. Maybe hold on. But yeah, 
I haven't started this all, all since last night, so it's gonna be pretty loud. Not extremely loud, but kind of loud. And I put brighter lights in my little mirror, so it's really bright in here now. When the motor warms up, you'll be able to hear it better. You hear the exhaust a little too. I'm going to let this warm up for a minute guys and I'll bring it back. Let you hear what it sounds like when it's warmed up a little bit. Well guys, she's warmed up a little bit. You see the idle is really fluctuating a lot. And I just found out my camera sees a lot better with a little flashlight next to it. Uh, so she's misfiring really bad. Cylinder number four, which is right here in the middle. This one right here. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six, I believe. Yeah, one, two, three, four. So that's on the number four. What you're doing. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what it sounds like, guys. And it's not a lifter or anything. It's that stupid threads in the uh, rock arm because they let go after a uh, time. But that's about it for now, guys.